estamos aquí por, por la represión que hay con el pueblo que nos tienen matándonos de hambre, nos de, toda la van entera se está derrumbando y estamos sin casa, sin nada, Le tienen, que, tienen dinero para construir los hoteles, para construir de todo, y a nosotros, no, a nosotros nos tienen pasando hambre. Por eso también aquí estamos convocando a todos los revolucionarios del país, a todos los comunistas, a que salgan a las calles en cualquiera de los lugares donde se vayan a producir estas provocaciones. Hoy, desde ahora y en todos estos días. Y enfrentarla con decisión, con firmeza, con valentía. Praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachachadash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, those men that are doing this work in sincerity and truth, the hope for the elect. And much love to you, one third of you believers out there. Um, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right. Um, edifying through the spirit so as you just saw i had a clip put up from some so-called cubans and we know their biblical nationality is known as israelites from the tribe of manasseh okay that's who they are according to the most high and his son they're known as the tribe of manasseh right and they have rich roots you know but the thing is they have to come back to their nationality their name in the hebrew is manashah which means made to forget. And the original reason I was for was for uh, Joseph. He uh, wanted to forget his affliction in, uh, in Egypt when he was a slave. So uh, that's so he named his son made to forget, like forget his hard bondage, right? But now, sometimes you can even seem like uh, Cuban, uh, the uh, Manassites, right? Can sometimes be forgotten. You know, it's funny because even like, you know, even on a small scale, sometimes you'll go over to tribes and you're like, what tribe did I forget? And it, it's always Manasseh. It always be like that with brothers for some reason. But, you know, on a larger scale, right, you have situations like these, right? Now, these people are, are chanting. This is an article from CNN. And these people are chanting, all right? They're uh, they're talking about they're not getting there. They're, the word they're screaming is uh, libertad, which means uh, liberty, or freedom, liberta. That's what they're saying, but uh, it means freedom. They want their they're getting revoked their freedoms. They're not being able to eat, you know, and they're they're having different problems. It says these people have all of this money to fund these hotels, but they don't have any money to f to feed the people, right? But you 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 got to realize that uh over in Cuba, hey y'all being oppressed by the United States government, y'all being oppressed by Esau Edom, right? And so Esau is forgetting about y'all. <laughs> That's what he's doing. It, you even had, I believe that was the president that spoke. He said he blames it on the United States, right? Because of all of their, uh, their sanctions, right? And things like that. He blames it on the United States. So let, I, I want to get um, some scriptures real quick. You know, first off, you people are uh, dealing with food shortage, right? That's prophesied to happen in the Bible, all right? Uh, so many things that, that, are, that are scriptural that you people don't even realize that you're living out, that you're living these days out now. All right. I think I'm going to go to the book of Judges first um, before I move on. I don't have too many scriptures on this, but it was on my spirit to bring it out because, like I said, we can't forget about Manasseh. They wanted to, we can't get delivered without 12,000 uh, members of the tribe of Manasseh uh, being sealed. And we can't get delivered without one third of their uh, people getting themselves together. And by getting themselves together, I mean repenting and coming back to the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because that's the rule, the true power and the true ruler of the earth, Yahweh, in the name of his begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Right? He's coming in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, to bring judgment upon the earth. But I want to get this real quick. Um, this is Judges. Uh, excuse me, Joshua. Joshua chapter 17, 
Right. If you go into this story, you know about the daughters of Zelophehad, which didn't have inheritance. But I'm not I'm not going to that for this. Uh, there was a point that I want to bring out. I'm going to start at verse 11. It says, And Manasseh had an Issachar and an Asher, Beth Shean and her towns, and Iblium and her towns, and the inhabitants of Dor and her towns, and the inhabitants of Endor and her towns, and the inhabitants of Tanakh and her towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and her towns, even three countries. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. So there were certain times in the ancient times when we when we were getting uh, when the Lord when you know Moses, Joshua, Caleb, when Joshua and Caleb were deliberating to give out portions of lands on whose inheritance, you know, certain things came to happen in certain times. Obviously, you have to fight the uh, the heathen that were there, right? So there was in this particular situation, they couldn't drive out the Canaanites. So they won't be able to dwell in that land. It goes into further what they do continuing on. But really, the spirit is now what's happening in Cuba. You, you, the people that you've that are inhabiting a land, they have told you that you're um, that you're citizens there. They aren't providing for you, right? You're bordering countries such as uh, you know you're bordering places like United States, putting sanctions on you and imports. The video said that uh, you know this past year they cut down significantly the amount of imports. And that's all a part of Esau's agenda, right? To shut down the imports, to make people have less food, cause a food shortage, right? But continuing on, it says, Yet it came to pass when the children of Israel were waxing strong that they put the Canaanites to tribute, but did not utterly drive them out. And the children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot and one portion to inherit, seeing I'm a great people, for as much as the Lord blessed me hitherto? So Ephraim and Manasseh, like, we need we need more. That's essentially the spirit that y'all coming in now. Y'all need more. You said we are great people. And see, when you go into the story of Ephraim and Manasseh, he said Ephraim will be a uh, Manasseh will be a great people, but Ephraim will be greater. Right. So that's why. Um, uh, who is that? Uh, Israel. Right. He put his hands on both of the children. OK. And he crossed across. He crossed their hands, crossed his hands and put them on the children's heads. And it says, and Joshua answered them, if thou be a great people, then get thee up to the wood country and cut down for thyself there in the land of the parasites and of the giants. If Mount Ephraim be too narrow for thee. So it's like, hey, if you want, if you want more, you hey, go cut down some wood, you know, cut uh, get, and get ready to fight any of the people there. Uh, it says, and the children of Joseph said, the hill is now enough for us. And the Canaanites that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are of Bethshean and her towns and they who are of the valley of Jezreel. And Joshua spake unto the house of Joseph, even to Ephraim and Manasseh, saying, Thou art a great people and has great power. Thou shalt not have one lot only. Right? So they, you know, obviously they begin to fight these different uh, heathen nations. Right? But you got to understand that the thing is you wanted more. You, you had a, des a desire for more. Right? Because you said you're a great people. And so now they're thinking the same thing. They're like, we're Cubans. How could they do this to this? How could they deprive us of food? Right? But now you got to be fighting. The thing is, you were fighting for your inheritance then. Right? Now you have to fight for your spiritual inheritance. Because the carnal one isn't going to satisfy you, man. The, the plot of land that you got down there that you were enslaved to at the time is not going to be sufficient, man. Okay? So now you're supposed to be fighting for your spiritual inheritance. Asking the Lord to give you uh, g give you an uh, uh, inheritance with him. Right? It says, uh, and it was funny, it says, get you up to the wood country and cut down for thyself there the land of the parasites and of the giants. If Mount Nero be too there for you. So go kill those men that are up there. Take their land. But they have they had uh, a lot of power. Those men had great weaponry and things like that, those heathens, right? So you know, they're like, oh man, we gotta we gotta think about this before we before we move forward. But you you got now the curses, you're seeing the curses uh fall upon uh, you're seeing the curses fall upon uh, Manasseh right now, right? And so you got to realize, like, hey, man, what you, what you going to do when it, when, it, when it all comes down to it? You gonna, Who you going to fight for? Who you going to believe in? Because l listening and fighting for for Esau, Edom, and for fighting for an act, trying to request food, man, it ain't going to happen. This is why you got to believe in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Let me get a quick precept. I got maybe two more scriptures I want to get. Uh, this is Second Ezra 15 and verse um, uh, verse 
19. It says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You see, so they're going to be fighting each other soon. So, you know, there's always a point where the people fight against the system. You know, I was reading, there was an article on this, by the way. And the article was just saying, um, you know, how they're fighting against the government. They're blaming the government. They're fighting the police, police throwing people in the back of vans and all of this kind of stuff, man. But this is ultimately because you people refuse to return to Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. Two thirds of you are going to be destroyed for not being, uh, not, not listening and hearkening to his word. So, hey, man, this world is going to go global. You got brothers, you got Manassites out there that are prophesying, man. So there ain't going to be no excuse. You got brothers prophesying in Spanish. Hey, ain't going to be no excuse. But, uh, uh, you know, any believers that are down there, you keep fighting and you keep believing. And then the Lord is going to provide food for you. He's going to provide shelter for you, you know. But not unto those unbelievers, not unto the wicked, man. All right. Uh, I want to get this, too. This is Isaiah 9 and 21. It says Manasseh, Ephraim, and Ephraim, Manasseh, and they shall together be against Judah. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand has stretched out still. And see, that's why that, that spirit that y'all come in, because a lot of, you know, Cubans can range from very dark to very light. But hey, there's still that vexing again, like according to Isaiah the 11 chapter and the 13th verse, there's still that vexing and that envy and going on between the tribes. But hey, you know what I'm saying? You need to. Because what a cute, uh, what uh, Manasseh will do, they'll come to America and then he'll be brown skinned, and then he'll, you know, what I'm saying he'll speak Spanish, and Jacob, uh, Judah, will hear him, you know, what I'm saying, and, and Manasseh will be wanting to catch a fit, or somebody call him black, he get bent out of shape. Hey, I get it, we get the mentality, man, right? But at the end of the day, you got to serve the Lord and realize that these are your brothers, right? J the tribe of Judah is your brothers, you know. Just like the tribe of Ephraim are your brothers, man. You know, so this is the time for uh, the nation of Israel to repent. And uh, keep their brother, you brothers and sisters down in Cuba, hey, man, you better get your act right. You know, repent and pray to the Lord because it's only going to get worse and worse, man. Even if it gets back be better for a moment, to everything under the heaven is a time, a season, and a purpose, man. So, hey, man, the, don't, don't, don't have it come to naught where you've been down there starving. And, and famine, according to the scriptures, famine is going to come. So you got to believe in your Hashem Yahushua for him to deliver you, man. Fight for your inheritance for your Hashem Yahushua, just like you did in olden times and fighting for land, right? Fight for, fight for your birthright, right? Fight, fight to be uh, among, uh, have your names written in heaven. Fight to be, uh, Lord willing, a part of his holy elect, man. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakhakudash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect. Until next time, Shalom.